Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new play now today with something amazing! It's the Steam Summer Festival thing! And it's a thing where developers release a metric button that is a scientific uh, amount, if you don't know, of demos. There's just demos everywhere and it's amazing! Remember about two years ago when the demo was dead? Nobody was making demos anymore? Where? Well, now, now there are demos again! Small portions of a video game that you can download and play for free and sort of get a feel for the game! It's... it's beautiful! It's amazing! It's like... What if the world could be a good place? What if... There weren't so many scumbags out there. What if? So this is the survivalist. It's basically um, if if you've played the escapist by any chance, you know the game when, when you when you're in prison and you have to get out. It's the same idea, but you're not actually in prison. Well, technically you are in prison. You are in. Well, now if you want to get philosophical, we are all in a prison of our own mind first and foremost, then the prison of society, in the prison of our environment, in the prison of our social, uh, you know, sphere, in the prison of our fears, in the prison of our hopes and dreams. Everything is a prison. So, not getting philosophical on the subject. You're think you're on a on a desert on a deserted island, not a desert island, because as you can see in the background, there is no uh, actual uh, desert. It's it's green and pretty and stuff. But you're washed up on shore and you have to, uh, you know, survive. So it's it's like, it's like door, don't starve together or don't starve. Well, yeah, it does have multiplayer, so it would be don't starve together mixed with the escapists. Also, it's something else. You have monkeys. I'm going to get to the monkeys soon. But first, I just have to say the graphics, I love them. Like, look at, look at this parallaxing right here. Look at, look at how it does that. 3D thing, even though, like this is this is just a sprite. It's this is just super pretty. Like look, look how how everything is moving, you know, like in a non-natural way. So it's not really 3D, but it sort of looks 3D. It's it's just gorgeous. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the graphics of this game. Well, mostly I love the. Um, the way that they implemented parallaxing and you know uh, shifting of uh, shifting of the perspective, it's just darn pretty. Now on to what exactly you're doing in the game. Well, it's another survival game. It's um, you probably know what what these games consist of. Usually, you run around, you uh, hit everything you can see with rocks, then you collect stuff, and then you craft, you pick up stuff, and then you craft stuff. It's uh, the kind of game that you will eventually strangle yourself because you thought, oh, I should play this, and then realize, oh, it's just gonna have to, like, do this for like 15 hours so I can make an axe. And then realize that after you make the axe, the game is just another 50 hours of doing the same thing to a bigger tree to make a bigger axe. And there is no actual fun in it or depth to it. It's just pointlessly wasting your time until you die but this game has something in its advantage not sure how much of an advantage but it does have something in its favor you have this monkey now you may be wondering is that just a pet no for you see although you are gonna craft a lot of these stuff and eventually you're gonna get sick of it Shouldn't this unlock? Or I guess it doesn't unlock because uh, I'm gonna make a tool handle first. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the thing in a second. Put a club multi tool. Yeah, make a club. Oh, I'm I'm out of uh, space in my inventory. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw my monkey something. Throw item. I give. Oh, he can only carry one. Okay, okay. In that case, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him something better. Let's see. I, actually, I, I'm gonna have to give him back this thing because it's it's kind of needed. 
Stone chunk. Let's make a stone chunk. Oh, it's night already. Already. Remember to save. Yes, I remember to save. I get it. Let's give him another stone axe. And the... Uh, hold on. First I'm gonna... Can I drop this? Z. Okay, I dropped this. Pick up the axe. Give it to the monkey. Okay, throw item to monkey. Monkey has a stone axe now. Now, monkey... Do this! Monkey! Monkey boy! Mr. Monkey! Uh, let's see, throw item, follow me. Okay, mimic. Okay, so he's supposed to mimic the actions, but I don't think the button is fully implemented yet or something, because he doesn't do that, but I can do this. I can teach the... Well, actually, I don't think I actually taught the monkey uh, how to do this yet in this save game, so that's why he doesn't do it. But now I taught him, and he's doing it. And the monkey will gather stuff for you. I think. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna get him to cancel monkey action. I'm gonna get him to learn something. I thought you could, no. Monkey, monkey, cancel. Follow me. Okay, the monkey seems to be stuck in the loop, but it's okay, it's okay. Teach monkey. Okay, first monkey, do this. Actually, I don't have a thing anymore. Okay, monkey, you're gonna pick up these. See? Pick up these. And you're gonna put them here, right? You're gonna put them here. See? See? That's what you have to do, monkey. Got it? Got it? Okay, get to it. Hopefully he got it. Did he get it? Let's see. Did he get it? Did he understand? No, he didn't. Well, maybe he did. Let's see. Will he do the rest? Okay, so he won't do the rest. But the important thing is, even though this is a game where you were going to craft until your eyes bleed and you're going to gather resources until your fingers bleed and your nose bleeds and everything that can bleed will bleed and what can't bleed will still bleed and be painful, you can actually get... A monkey or several monkeys to do the work for you so you don't have to and that in itself is is a wonderful addition to this genre because the majority of this genre since it spawned like a billion years ago it seems has consistently sucked because of this as aspect because you have to gather every little thing by yourself and it's annoying it is hell of annoying. Oh, this is actually quite beautiful here. Like, there's a... Are those fireflies or it's just the, the glow of the water? Uh, that's, that's the water, actually. But this entire genre has sucked so hard because... Instead of, you know, exploring or enjoying yourself, you're, uh... You're mistreating a piece of wood. A piece of a tree. Danger close. Let's see. Select a weapon and attack. Okay. Where's the danger? Oh, there's a... Are the bats the danger? I'm guessing the bats... Oh, yeah, the bats are the danger. Bats are danger. Yeah, ook, ook, eek, ok. Kill them, my pet monkey. Kill them. Murderize them. Or no? I don't think he wants to. Yeah, you're exhausted. Okay, okay, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Punch, punch, punch. Come on. We generate... Let me catch my brother. Okay, okay I'm out of weapon. Uh, okay, let's let's actually run away a bit. You can even dodge in the game. Oh, I have a wooden club. I forgot I had a club. Duh. Jesus. I forgot I crafted the club. Get back here, Mr. Bat. I'm gonna womp you. I'm gonna quonk you. He doesn't have a tool anymore, so maybe he'll uh he'll follow me instead. Follow me. Let's see. Yeah, follow me. Come here and we'll uh, we'll we'll do something, okay? Yeah, I'm sort of gathering stuff with my my club. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Anything else to pick up? Oh, there's a there's a cave entrance back here. Let's go inside. A map of the world can be found in your journal, okay? It's a map. Put a pin in it. 
That's nice. Okay. Let's go deeper in. And hopefully uh, I actually don't see anything in here. Pick up meat scrap. Can I eat it? No, that, that's the wrong thing. Should probably get out of here because it's uh it's kinda kinda scary. That's yeah, I know, I know monkey. This is basically Monkey Island. From the perspective of uh Herman Toothrot who washed up on Nuashi. How did he get there? I, I kind of forget. Did he go... Did he wash up on the island or did he go exploring? Well, technically, according to Monkey Island 4, he got there because uh, the Australian guy, Ozzy Mandrel, tricked him and marooned him on that uh, that island. And he's... Uh, he's Elaine Marley's uh, granddad, I think. I'll ask you to bring them items. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring an item to that monkey to follow me. But I don't have that item. Makeshift pole. Okay, I made a makeshift pole. Can I pick it up? I guess probably I can. Uh, I see. Drop this. Pick up the bowl. What can I use the bowl with? Well, currently nothing. Can be filled with water. He doesn't want water. He wants he wants uh, food. I think he wants a bowl of fruits or a bowl of flowers. Or maybe can I mix the bells with it? It's not like like the crafting system that uh, the escape is at, where you combine two items together. You have this thing that's a lot less intuitive. Just open up already. I'm thankful for the monkeys because with that limited amount of stamina you have, uh, this game would have been a total drag. Like a super drag, mega drag. It would have been terrible. It would have been absolutely atrocious. But with the monkeys, there is a chance this actually could be interesting. I mean, again, it, it looks beautiful. It's still a crafting garbage game. I mean, you f find garbage and you craft it. Also, the genre is kind of been played out for ages but it's it's the monkeys at least make it interesting it it's probably the closest we've gotten to uh to colobot now colobot was not a survival game it was a game where you were uh, actually had to do things on a planet so you could get to another planet it was a sort of resource finding engineering game a programming game actually because you could get robots to uh, do stuff for you you know, collect resources instead of you. You just had to program them. Like he had an actual programming language in the game and you typed out things and... Ooh! Yeah, this is Monkey Island. And that really made Callabot a really interesting game. It's, even if you weren't into the learning programming angle, it was still nice because you... You had the game where you didn't have to collect manually. You could, if you wanted to collect things manually, you could. But you could make a system. You could build your own system any way you wanted it to with programming. It was beautiful. And then for 50 years, it seems, uh, everybody forgot that you could make a game like that and decided to do trash instead. Thankfully, we, we did also get games like Factorio and The Satisfactory, which sort of leaned into the idea of Huh, maybe uh, I shouldn't be collecting wood by hand since I have industry. But uh, suddenly not a lot of games seem to have actually uh, gone into that direction. I'm gonna, let's see, let's, should I put something up there? Yeah, I'm going to put this stone chunk there. So I can have uh, an extra bit of... Adminicus Maximus. That's a strange name. Oh, it keys to escape. You can escape. So it still, it still is about escaping. Okay, Clive, come on. Let's get out of here. And of course, all your tools degrade with time because it wouldn't be a trash crafting game without that. And I mean that you're crafting trash into items and naturally the items can't be all that durable because they're made of trash. Also, the genre, again, is a bit trash. Adventure time. You received the first treasure map. Oh, we have a treasure map. We don't have a shovel, though, to dig up the treasure, now do we? Well, uh, whoever you may be, I left my bow at the large camp in Koi Garden. 
for a tree tree when we okay koi garden where would a koi garden be would it be this thing here who knows we shall see we'll find out i like that it's not indicated on on the map like you have to actually look for it you have to get to know the place a bit so it, it does have something in its uh favor i would say compared to other trash uh, crafting games can i now oh, there's something there to dig up there is another bell new treasure map added journal this totem that doesn't just talk, they want stuff. Okay, bring whatever its wooden heart desires and reward you. Okay, so you're gonna find totism, totems on the map that will give you rewards for stuff. Flimsy arrows. Well, that's, that's a good combination to have. Flimsy arrows. It's, it's probably gonna be sturdy arrows, normal arrows, durable arrows, far-flying arrows. All sorts of arrows. Okay, I'm gonna take it easy. Oh, there's a boar. He looks bored. Get it? Because he's a boar. And I died. <laughs> well, uh, because I'm gonna be making a lot of these shows like this uh, week because, you know, there it's the whole Steam, uh, Steam thing. The Steam Carnival uh, event, which we call it. Uh, I'm not gonna dedicate that much time to each game, but yeah, it's it's basically it's the escapists. But with crafting now, I mean this kind of crafting, not the one where you combine a toothpaste with something else and get a uh, I don't know something prison related. It's uh, where did this one go? Forgotten Orkling camp. Oh, orcs! We have orcs in this game. Cool! Orcs. Such a strange, strange, strange thing. So because of uh, there being a lot of games, I'm going to try and do a lot of shows. So I'm not going to be able to go super in-depth with uh, any of them. But uh, we'll have content about them. So this one is... If you enjoy crafting games, yeah, it'll probably be great for you. If uh, you don't, uh, you, you can still get the monkeys to collect most of your resources, so you maybe, maybe will get something out of it. If not, well, at least it's pretty. There's skeletons everywhere. Everybody's dead. Oh... There's, I can get out of here. The stranger holds the keys to getting off the island. Oh, God damn it! Uh, should, shouldn't I just kill him? Like, jump on him and beat him with a stick and steal his balloon? Reveal far off land. So I have to. Ooh. He wants rope, but I don't have any rope. Because I lost it all. Let me craft something real quick. And uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Oh, there is York. So, Mr. Stranger, um, how do you feel about getting shanked? <laughs> Prison rules! Prison rules! Yeah, not so much in the realism aspect this game is. Collection rewards. Ah, damn it. It's the, the it's bad again. My dream is to track down a bird and poop on it. Well, you do have that to look forward to. You look tasty. I, yeah, I do. I, I moisturize. This has been the uh, survivalist. The demo is out now on Steam. Ooh, a vault. It's... What if the escapist took place on Monkey Island? And had a lot of stuff in it. And it looked really pretty, but still... Uh, you know, the crafting aspect and the collecting resource aspect. But... You can get monkeys to collect the stuff. So there's that. I guess. Hopefully. See you in a couple of minutes. Depending on when you're watching this. What a new show. Uh, it's gonna be of a different game. I guess. Goodbye.